Hey, it's Mario and welcome back to another tutorial. This one is an overview of the attitude indicator. Let's take a look. The attitude indicator, often referred to as the AI, is one of the gyroscopic instruments of an aircraft. It's the instrument that provides pitch and bank information when visual reference is lost. In another video, we talked at length about what a gyroscope is and how it works. If you haven't seen that video, you should probably watch it before this one. Of particular interest for the attitude indicator is the gyroscopic property of rigidity in space. Okay, so the attitude indicator or the AI includes a horizon bar that divides the top and bottom half of the main display, which is normally colored brown and blue to indicate ground and sky. In front of the horizon bar is a schematic aircraft and a roll pointer. The schematic aircraft includes horizontal lines extending left and right to represent wings and a dot in the center to represent the nose of the aircraft. Around the horizon bar is a ring of angle markings with several standard bank angles identified. The schematic aircraft and the roll pointer are fixed to the airframe, but the horizon bar moves up and down to indicate pitch attitude and both the horizon bar and the angle ring rotate left and right to indicate bank attitude. Before using the AI, we need to set the schematic aircraft properly. The schematic aircraft is offset forward from the horizon bar, so there is some parallax error in the display that depends on how high or low you sit in your seat. While the aircraft is sitting on the ground in roughly the crew's attitude, you should use the adjustment knob to move the aircraft into the correct position for your seating position. Now reading the AI is straightforward. It's much like looking through a miniature window at the real horizon. The horizon bar remains parallel to the real horizon as the aircraft moves around and its position relative to the fixed components of the instrument indicate the pitch and bank attitude. We can read the schematic aircraft against the pitch lines to determine the pitch attitude. And we can read the roll pointer against the bank markings to determine the bank attitude. The only catch is when we try to read the pitch attitude while banked. This is where the dot in the center of the schematic aircraft comes in. Rather than using the entire lines of the schematic aircraft, we can read our pitch attitude against this dot. In this way, reliable pitch readings can still be easily made while banked. Okay, so now onto the AI's gyroscope. The AI gyro is mounted in a horizontal plane with a vertical axis. The spin axis of the AI gyro is vertical relative to the Earth's surface. And the gimbals of the gyro allow free movement in the pitch and roll directions. As a result of this mounting, the AI gyro cannot provide any yaw information. Yawing the aircraft simply moves the airframe around the spin axis of the gyro and result in no gimbal movement and therefore no instrument indication. However, rigidity in space enables the measurement of pitch and roll angles through mechanical linkages between the gyro mount and the horizon bar. The power supply for the AI is vacuum suction in most light aircraft. However, redundant or standby AIs can be electric. Because the AI operates on the principle of rigidity in space, it requires gimbal mounts to allow it to move freely. However, in most installations, there are mechanical limitations on the gimbal mounts. Most modern AIs can handle roll through full 360 degrees without any difficulty, but pitch limits are normally at plus or minus 85 degrees. Pitching beyond the plus or minus 85 degrees limits results in the pitch gimbal reaching a stop, forcing the gyro to rotate out of its plane of spin and process unpredictably. This is called tumbling the gyro and results in inaccurate readings for several minutes until the gyro can right itself again. So there you have it. That was an overview of the AI, also known as the attitude indicator. If you have a question, leave a comment below and be sure not to miss our next video by liking our Facebook page and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And of course, until next time, onwards and upwards, thanks for watching.